Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a click? We're talking, of course, about graph theory clicks, and this is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests. Be sure to leave your requests down in the comments. With that said, this shouldn't take too long, so let's get right into the lesson. And we begin looking at this beautiful graph called G. Now, you might be familiar with the term click, as it refers to social groups, groups of people who all have some common characteristic, like band members or athletes. And we use the term in a similar way in the context of graph theory. So let's write out a definition here. A set C is a click of the graph G if and only if, which we can abbreviate as if with two Fs, if and only if C is a subset of the vertex set of G, and every pair of distinct vertices in C is adjacent in G. And we can write that like this, two vertices U and V being in the click C, and, this is a symbol for and, and them being distinct, so U is not equal to V, this implies that U and V are adjacent in G, which means that UV is an element of the edge set of G because there is an edge that joins them. So this is what a click of a graph is. It's a subset of the vertex set such that all distinct vertices in the click are joined by an edge. If you're familiar with induced subgraphs, you can also think of clicks like this. A set of vertices is a click if its induced subgraph is a complete graph. So let's go ahead and look at a couple examples in our graph G. Take a moment and look at this graph, see if you can find a click that has four vertices. Maybe pause the video and see if you can spot one. All right, maybe you found one, maybe you didn't. Here's what I was looking at. Let's call this click C1. This click is equal to the set containing the vertices A, B, C, and F. So this click, this C1, this is a click of the graph G. Why is it a click? Well, for starters, it is a subset of the vertex set of G. We can see that clearly. Every vertex in C1 is a vertex of the graph G. And then secondly, every pair of distinct vertices in the set C1 is adjacent in G. For example, the vertices A and F. A and F are adjacent in G. Another example, B and C. B and C are also adjacent in G. For another example, we could look at, uh, let's say, B and F. B and F are also adjacent in G. So every pair of distinct vertices in C1 is adjacent in G. So it is a click. And just to drive the point home further, we could sketch the subgraph induced by this click. And if you're not familiar with what that means, the subgraph induced by a vertex set is just all of the vertices in the set. So B, uh, that's a little ugly, let me write that B again. If I could just hit this undo button, really hard to hit. Vertex B, vertex C, vertex F, and vertex A, so all the vertices in our set, as well as the edges that join those vertices in G. So in this case, there's an edge joining B and C, there's an edge joining B and A, there's an edge joining C and F, there's an edge joining A and F, there's an edge joining A and C, and there's an edge joining B and F. So again, this is the subgraph of G that is induced by this vertex set. It has all the vertices of our click, as well as the edges in G that join those vertices. It's this piece of G right here, and you can see that it is a complete graph. And by definition of a click, that will always be the case. The subgraph induced by a click is a complete graph. So that's well and good. Let's look at a non-example now. We'll just call this vertex set S. And let's say it includes C, D, F, and E. This is not a click. Although it is a subset of the vertex set of G, not every pair of distinct vertices in this set is adjacent. For example, the vertex C and the vertex E 
we see that these two vertices are not adjacent in the graph. So this is not a click. The subgraph induced by this vertex set is not a complete graph. For another example of a set that is a click, let's call this C2. This set has the vertex B, the vertex C, and the vertex F. And we can see just by looking over here that every pair of these three vertices is adjacent. B and C are adjacent, B and F are adjacent, and C and F are adjacent. And there are a couple more clicks in this graph G as well. See if you can spot them. So that is what a click is. A set C is a click of the graph G if and only if it is a subset of the vertex set of G and every pair of distinct vertices in that subset is adjacent in the graph G. I'll briefly mention also that sometimes clicks are defined not to be vertex sets, but instead to be subgraphs. So for example, we said that the uh, click C1 has these four vertices, B, C, A, and F. Some people would actually define this click to be this whole subgraph with all of the edges that join the vertices as well as the vertices themselves. So just keep that in mind. But in my experience, the most common definition of click is that it is a subset of the vertex set of the graph that is uh, being analyzed. So I hope this video helped you understand what a click is. In future lessons, we'll take a deeper dive into certain types of clicks and how to find them. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or if any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And usually, I just pop a song on at the end. This time, I'll actually grab my guitar and play a song live for you. All right, this song is back then by B-Story. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Show me another picture I'll try my best to see what happened to us, baby? I love.